हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न हाउ टू कनेक्ट योर ओपन एआई असिस्टेंट एज आई हैव क्रिएटेड हियर माय टेस्ट असिस्टेंट टू फेसबुक मैसेंजर थ्रू एप्लीकेशन बिल्ड ऑन डेवलपर डॉट फेसबुक डॉट कॉम विथ दिस एप्लीकेशन वी विल टॉक टू अवर फेसबुक मैसेंजर and you know connect it to open ai assistant in this video you will learn how to build a python application that will serve as a web hook so let's get started i have already written code for this web hook that connects open ai assistant to fb messenger and it is on my github and the link for it is in the description of this video so i have already open it the first thing you going to do is create a virtual environment i will use venv to create a virtual environment called venv then i will source into my newly created a uh, virtual environment then i'll use pip install hyphen r from the requirements.txt file so it will install all the required dependencies meanwhile in order to build the connection you will need few things those things are open ai api key assistant id facebook page access token and verify token so let's get everything uh, open ai api key you can get it from your open ai account go to here then create new api key i will say test api key and i'll create i'll copy that uh, don't worry about me exposing these keys i will destroy these keys after i record the video and i'll come here i'll provide my open ai api key then in the playground i have created already an assistant and when i say hi and hit run you'll see that i have got hello how can i assist you today response here you will get your assistant id i'll copy that i'll provide my assistant id now we need to get fb page access token and verify token this verify token can be any string this is to verify from uh, facebook that the web hook you want to connect is yours so i'll say a b c d e f g h a b c d e f g h okay so i'll put this string and let me save this and now i'll go to developer.facebook.com and here i have created an application when i click on the application you'll see this page and here if you haven't connected your messenger you will see that uh, there is a messenger uh, card as well but i already have set it up so i see a messenger here and when i click on here you'll see messenger api setting click on that then here uh, first generate access token i'll click here and i'll generate new access token i'll copy it and i'll paste it here now in order to uh, set up a messenger you need to connect this application to a facebook page so you need to create a page and connect it here once it is connected you need to set two fields for access 
messages and messaging post back once you do these steps and get your uh, token we need to go to configure webhooks so let's first run our application i'll say python run dot py and before we actually connect it let me walk you through to the code section so in the config.py as always i read all the configuration that is needed uh, either from env file or uh, some error message uh, you can see that i have created mappings data i'll explain it in a bit then i have fb graph api here i have written a function that uses facebook's graph api to send message on messenger then i have uh, this main pi here i have three routes this is uh, flask application i have three route routes uh, one is home route facebook which has get and facebook which has post method so this get is to verify that the facebook webhook we gonna set is ours so when we set our webhook facebook will send some information that is verify token and challenge so we need to make sure this verify token we will set is matches with our this verify token and facebook will send us a challenge as well so we need to send the challenge back then i have this facebook route with post method so when someone sends message on the messenger facebook will request with the message data to this route we will get the recipient id and query and then we will do our assistant thing so the way assistant works is you need to create a thread on that thread put the query and run the thread now open ai assistant will generate a response and put the response on the same thread and then you retrieve the message content and you know extract the response and then use it so in order to you know keep track of the thread against the sender id i have created this mappings dictionary which is at this point empty but when someone first sends a message i store the message on the mappings and when i need it in the util spy you can see i have get thread message from recipient id so i get the thread id from the recipient id and if in case uh, the user is communicating for the first time i update uh, the mappings dictionary so i know this is not the best way to you know keep track of the thread against the recipient id you can use any database to do this but for demonstration purpose i have used this arrangement so here in the open ai api i have this ask open ai assistant so you know i receive a recipient id so i try to get the thread id from the recipient id if the thread id is none i will create new thread id and you know update the mappings if uh, i get the thread id i will use that thread id to retrieve the thread then i'll put my query on the thread then i run the thread now when you run the thread it is obvious that it will take some time so i loop over to retrieve the run status if the run status is completed i just uh, exit from the loop otherwise i keep checking on uh, retrieve run to make sure that the run is complete once the run is complete we retrieve the message and the first message will be the assistant reply so i extract that and return that in case something goes wrong i'll send my error message and in run.py 
we just export the means import the app from main and run it so this is the code structure we're going to use now since we have set up everything uh, let me click here you'll see that okay response which is coming from the home route and to expose my local environment i'll start my ngrock on uh, i think 5000 and when i click here you'll see that hopefully yeah okay message so i'll copy this now this is my webhook url so when i go to facebook messenger and configure webhook i will edit this and i'll provide my current url followed by facebook now if you remember we have a verify token we need to provide this verify token here a b c d e f g h and a b c d e f g h yeah i'll hit verify if i come here you'll see that we have successfully verified our webhook and now our webhook is set for the communication so i come here and if i say hi here you'll see that a message came there was no thread id so a new thread is created and this was the response from the thread and this is the response i extracted from this hello how can i assist you and if i come here you will see that we got the response now there is small complication here is that facebook only waits for certain time limit uh, after sending you request and if you don't send ok status that you have received that request facebook will try again sending the same request so what i do is i just extract the recipient id and query from the request and then created a function to call open ai assistant function and then send facebook message and i put that on a thread and immediately send ok response so that facebook don't try sending the same request again so in this way if i say how are you and if i come here on the terminal you will see that now the thread id this is my new message how are you and this thread id matches with the old thread id because for the first mess message the thread id was not there but now we have updated our dictionary and set the thread id but as i said this is not the perfect setup you can use a database to uh, store the thread ids and you can see that we have got a response as well so i hope you have learned a lot from this video and now you are able to connect your open ai assistant to facebook messenger and just on a side note you can replace this facebook messenger part with any communication channel like website like uh, whatsapp or any communication channel i hope you understand my meaning and the code again is on my github and in case you use the code from my github please consider giving the repository a star it helps and in the end i'll do a small seamless promotion that i have a community on nas.io and in this community i talk about chatbot and recent development in the field of chatbots so if you want to connect to me and learn about chatbots you can join my community the link of the community is in the description and last i have a course on google dialog flow called master google dialog flow build smart chatbots on udemy if you want to learn and start your freelancing career in chatbot you can check out my course the link of this course is again in the description i hope again you have gained some knowledge and in case you do so please consider subscribing to my channel that helps 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग पीस